Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Miss B, and I am so excited to jump into this lesson with you guys and get going. So let me share my screen with you, and we will just jump on in. All right. So today's lesson is all about comparing lengths. And maybe you guys have seen some of my videos before, and if you have, you might know that I have done a lesson on comparing lengths with inches. But today, the unit we are going to be using is centimeters. We are going to be talking about how to measure with centimeters and how to compare lengths using centimeters. All right, so by the end of this lesson, this is our objective. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to measure objects and compare their lengths using centimeters. And I'm giving this to you guys just so you know what we should be learning today and what you guys should know by the end of the lesson. And of course, I always like to review this at the end so you know that you have learned what you were supposed to. So we will review this at the end and you guys can give me a thumbs up um, if you feel like you have, and if not, I have some resources available um, so you guys can keep on practicing. And then our standard. Our standard is just what we use to um, make sure that we are learning what other kids your age are learning, um, that you guys are all learning kind of the same thing and that you are on the same page. So that is to measure to determine how much longer one object is than another, expressing the length difference in terms of a standard length unit. So that just means we are going to be um, finding differences in lengths and today the unit that we are using is centimeters. All right, so I am going to ask you guys to go ahead and grab some materials. Um, grabbing these materials will help you guys to just have an easier time following along and a better experience as we are measuring. So here are the things you need. You need a ruler. A ruler is what you will use to measure. Very important that you have a ruler. Of course, if there are any of these materials that you guys don't have, do not worry. You can still follow along and learn a lot. Um, if you guys would get some paper, that would be awesome. Whether it's lined paper or blank paper, um, paper would be awesome. And then if you guys want to grab writing utensils, whether you have markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever it is, go ahead and grab that. I like to use markers for my writing utensil. And then um, if you guys want to look around your house or maybe wherever you are for some items to measure, uh, maybe a pencil, a postcard, a book. Today I'm gonna be working with a shoe, a candle, um, some scissors. So this is your time to pause this video and grab those materials. All right, hopefully you guys have those materials. And again, if you don't have something, that is okay. You can still learn a lot just by watching and participating with what you do have. So let's go ahead and move on to our next slide. Okay, so let's talk centimeters. What will you measure with centimeters and why? Now, before I even go over this slide, I want to actually just exit that out and talk to you guys for a second. This is our ruler. Maybe you guys have watched some of my lessons before or learned about this in school, but if you haven't, let me give you guys a little bit of a background on this ruler. We use rulers to measure things, and measuring helps us in so many ways, but it especially um, helps us with space, um, and not outer space, but space, like how long something is or how big something needs to be. You can measure out, like, in your room, you can measure out your bed. What if your bed is too big for your room? By measuring it before, you can know um, if that bed is too big or too small. There are so many examples of how this ruler helps us. But when you're using this ruler, the two most common units you will use to measure, the first one is called inches. Inches. And you can see 
inches is right here. It starts down here. And the inches here, it goes one, two, three, four, and so on, all the way to 12. So one of these rulers is 12 inches, okay? One of these rulers, 12 inches. Okay, so now when you turn the ruler over, hopefully you will see this little, hold on, this little symbol right here, CM, that is centimeters. And you can see, one, two, three, those are centimeters. So that is how we use centimeters. One side, inches, these are bigger, and centimeters on the other side, smaller, um, right here. So yes, that is how we are going to use this ruler. Today we will be focusing on centimeters. Okay, so back to our slide. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a rundown in case you hadn't seen that before, or haven't worked with that before. But um, going back to our PowerPoint, here we have, all right, we are going to talk about what do we measure with centimeters. So as you can see, I have a couple of examples up here. I have markers, postcard, phone, remote, driveway, soccer field, height of door, car. So with centimeters, since our centimeters are so small, which you can see on here, do you guys think that it would be reasonable to measure our driveway in centimeters? Or maybe like a soccer field with centimeters? No, that's not reasonable because um, it would like make so many centimeters and there are other units that can better represent those um, places or the height of those things or the length. So for example, if you wanna measure a soccer field, you could measure it in feet or in yards or something like that instead of centimeters because centimeters are so small that that would be a lot of centimeters to measure things like a soccer field, a driveway, a car, or even the height of a door. Um, but when we are looking at, let's say, a marker, like this marker right here, this is a perfect length to use with centimeters because it's not very big and it's easy for us to measure on here. So I'll tell you guys right here, it's hard to um, measure with holding it up, but this is about 18 and a half centimeters on here. So it's easy to measure a marker, a postcard. You know, I don't know if you guys know what that is. That's a great item, maybe like an envelope, a phone, a phone is a great item. Um, so there are a lot of different things you can measure. But with centimeters, it's more reasonable to measure smaller objects as opposed to like really long or large objects. Those might be better suited for larger units like feet or yards or even inches. Inches are just a little bit bigger than centimeters. All right, moving on. So I am going to show you guys and we are, and I am going to find the difference first. So this is a part you guys don't need any pencils or paper or anything. Just watch me as I do this. I'm going to measure two items and find the difference. So what I have right here very first is I have my phone, my phone. I'm going to measure my phone using centimeters. So when I look at our, my stick, I start right up here where that very first line is by the CM um, sign. So I'm taking my phone. It's a little bit tough, I, like I said, to hold up, but I am going to do it. Ah. All right, so my phone is 13 centimeters, 13 centimeters. So I'm going to write that in um, so you guys can see. 
13 centimeters. Perfect. Now it says lip balm. Okay, I have a lip balm right here. It's in kind of a circular thing, but that is okay. I am going to measure how high it is. So again, starting at um, where it says centimeter, I am going to hold it there and measure. Okay, so my lip balm came out to four centimeters tall four centimeters tall. So because of this, we have 13 centimeters and four centimeters. Here is the sentence frame that we would like to fill in. The blank is blank centimeters longer than the blank. So this is just asking which one is larger and how much larger. Well, I know that the phone is larger because it is 13 centimeters um, in length. So I am going to write that in. The phone is, okay, now I have to see, well, I can write out here, I can write is longer than the lip balm, but I need to see how many centimeters longer. So what is 13 minus four? Hmm. Well, 13 take away three is 10, and one more is nine. So I know that my phone is nine centimeters longer than my lip balm. So that is what I got for our first example. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if that looks correct to you. Hopefully it does. Um, but that is just an example of what we are going to be doing for the rest of this time together. And I would love it if you guys would now take out a piece of paper so that you can write down these sentence frames and fill them in along with me. Okay, so this is where your, um, the items that you gathered will come in handy. And I do need to let you guys know that these items, because they're at your house and then they're different than the ones that are at mine, they will not probably be the same height. Um, they will probably be totally different heights. So if you guys are feeling a little bit confused, please follow along with me. But if you are feeling like you've got it, then go ahead and measure your own items and just follow me for the steps. Got it? Okay. Perfect. So let's take our candle. And if you don't have a candle, again, it's all right. Just pick an item. So here is a candle. This is not a real candle. Um, see, it just turns on with the click of a button. But here's my candle. And I am going to measure how many centimeters. So let's find what is our very first step. Right. I know you guys said it. We are going to find that centimeters line. And line it up and measure our candle. All right, so I'm measuring mine and my candle is eight centimeters high, okay? Eight centimeters. So you're, you guys might have a different answer in there and that is okay. I am going to put eight centimeters in our sentence frame because that is my answer. And again, please don't light your candle. I feel like I should just say that. Don't light your candle, just have a candle that is either fake or not lit, okay? That is the best option for us. Okay, so a postcard is our second item. And if you guys don't have a postcard, no worries. You could use an envelope, that would be pretty close, um, or anything really you want. So this postcard, before I even move on, a really fun story about this postcard is I used to live in Italy and this was from the village that I lived in in Italy. And it's so pretty there. All right, so we are going to take it and what is our first step? Find that centimeter line. We are going to start right at the centimeter line and we are going to measure, let's see. All right, so my postcard is 11 centimeters long, 11 centimeters. So let's fill that in. Now we have the candle, that's eight centimeters, and we have um, 
the postcard, which is 11. So which one is longer? Eight centimeters or 11? 11 centimeters is longer. So we are going to say the postcard is how many centimeters longer? Let's see, 11 minus eight, take away one is 10, take away two more is eight. So three centimeters longer than the candle. Awesome. The postcard is three centimeters longer than the candle. Awesome job, you guys. So, so good. Let's try another one together. All right, so again, your measurements are gonna be totally different than mine, but here we go. I have a shoe. This is just like a shoe that I wear around the house. I don't wear it too much, but what are we gonna do for our first step? Find our centimeter, unit centimeter, and line it up. Perfect. Okay, my shoe is 24 centimeters. Wow, that is much bigger than anything we have measured yet. So it is 24 centimeters, all right? Now let's look at our scissors. That is our next step, our scissors. Um, I have these scissors here and I am going to find that centimeter and line it up. All right, my scissors are 16 centimeters, 16. Perfect. So out of the shoe and the scissors, which one is longer? Which one is bigger? The shoe is larger. So the shoe is how many centimeters larger? How, how many centimeters more is 24 than 16? Well, I like to think of it, so I'm going to subtract four, and that makes 20. And then I subtract another four, and that makes 16. So that means it is eight centimeters longer than the scissors. Awesome, you guys. I know you are doing the best you can. Even if your numbers are turning out differently, I hope you guys are at least following along with these steps. Thank you for being troopers. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, now it is your turn. You guys can find any two items in your house that you think would be appropriate to measure in centimeters. So a couple ideas might be pens, pencil, marker, maybe a water bottle, um, something of that nature. Go ahead and find two items and fill out the sentence frame here. Which one is bigger um, and how much bigger? And I want you guys to tell me also, is it a big difference or a small difference? So go ahead and find those two items and practice on your own. Awesome, you guys. Hopefully, um, you have gotten those two items and been able to practice on your own and see which you think is um, longer and which you think is maybe shorter. And I really wish, this is one of those times that I wish I could give you guys the correct answer to review and I wish I could see what you guys are getting. But unfortunately, since it's online and I don't have those objects right in front of me, I can't check it. But you can use the help of an adult or a friend to help you out with checking it. And if you guys feel like you need a little bit more practice or maybe you're just having fun with these, go ahead and try some other um, objects. Go ahead and have fun. Start measuring things. You guys can share this information with your siblings or your parents or whoever and just show them what you know and how you know how to measure. It's a really, really great skill to have. All right, guys. So that is it for our practice. Now we are going to um, just review our objective. And again, I always tell you guys, I like to do this because it's important to me that you guys know what you were supposed to learn today and that you feel like you took something from this lesson. 
So our objective is by the end of this lesson, you will be able to measure objects and compare their lengths using centimeters. Do you feel like we achieved this objective? Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or maybe if you're just not quite sure yet, you can give me kind of a fist in the middle. All right, hopefully those were all thumbs up, but if not, you guys can always watch this lesson through again. You can ask someone for help who maybe did give a thumbs up. Um, there are so many resources available to you, so keep on practicing. I know that I had fun finding objects just in my own home to measure and to compare. It's kind of fun because you never really think about it um, before you really do it. So that was super fun to me and I think it was great practice. So I definitely feel like we achieved this um, objective today. All right, so have a great day. Um, hopefully, again, you guys feel like you learned something and you feel like you have knowledge now that you didn't before. Of course, keep practicing, keep learning, and if you ever um, forget how to measure or need some practice, be sure to ask an adult, just get a ruler and start going out there and just finding the differences in lengths. The more you practice, the better you'll get. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I uh, will see you guys soon. Bye.